What is going on, Puck Nation, and welcome to the Build It series. So we're going to go into the store. This is the Build It Strap It Boards from Lambo Mods himself. Look at that nice logo, Lambo and Winston Community. So let's go over what we have. We have a 9x4 flat board and three lawn. There is a lot of stuff. Here's the big square board. We have a nice big flat board, 9 4 by 6. We have a post, if you want to make something with that. This has a lot of potential. When I guys say to support a certain Patreon person, oh, I mean it. Like, this is going to make a construction series go awesome. And thank you to, let's pause, let me get his name right. I think it's um it's like on the top of my head. Mr. Boom Mastic said, "Haha, build a wall, Trump 16." You know what, dude? We're going to build a wall for sure. It's got a lot of straps. We can easily haul it on a trailer. Oh, I'm going a little too fast. We have a axle. We're going to put some boards on there, make a car or just a a flat here is a swivel launcher. I'll have to uh, experiment with this a little bit more, but we're just going to kind of show stuff off. And we have a bigger axle. So here's the wall. Here's the axles. Everything is grabbable. There's a strap. You can kind of see the little green lines as the straps... The straps have definitely become an awesome feature of twenty of two uh, FS19. So as I'm flying with an axle right now, we I can fly just like you can do a log. Did anybody know that axles could fly? I don't think so, but they they flown before pigs, so I think we won. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, thank God it didn't hit the Ford. Would have been nice if it hit the Chevy. Kidding. Alright, so let's build something. Here, let's move the uh, Dodge out of the way. What I'm thinking, if anybody's thinking what I'm thinking here, we can use these boards to do hauling videos, construction videos. You can use this in the lawn care series. Uh, we're going to get the logistics center back up. Uh, there's a logistics center out. It's in a Facebook group that I'm in. A very respectable Facebook group. They have some really cool engine pallet mods. Which I can show you guys if I can find them real fast. Yep, they're right here. We've got a big block Ford. A Cummins. Diesel power. Diesel motor. There should be, oh, here it is, the 2020 Duramax. Looks very nice. Uh, we'll get into the Logistics Center uh, here soon. If you guys watched the full um, the full video of my Mod Spotlight, uh, you know I'm a little bit under the gun right now to get my Class D license for UPS, so I'm just really kind of focusing on that. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to have to go straight for my CDL license instead, the big Class A, because, you know, I've gone through life and I've accepted the fact, and I'm going to be the first one to say, I'm not good at taking tests. I've tried my hardest, I can do the studying, but it seems like as soon as I study for a test, I lose everything. So, and, and when I don't study for a test, I actually do a lot better. So, my mind is so different, but... I took driver's ed, I paid 500 bucks, or actually my parents did, but you get the gist. You pay 500 bucks, you don't have to take that big test. So, there are options, there are, are alternatives to your learning. Everybody learns differently, so I'm having a little bit of trouble, but I'm only missing like 10 questions, so I guess I can just study the rest of the way and study the ones that I need to. But it's all about how much time do I really want to put into it. Wait, can we strap this down? 
Alright, so that one's strapped into the other axle. So you kind of have to play around with the straps a little bit, but you can easily figure it out. Because right now, this board isn't tied down to that other one. The straps are a little funky. I don't think I have it tied to this axle. Not really. But there we go. It's just the way how you look at these boards. And there you go. So now you can tow this thing around. It'd be cool if you can make a hitch. That's what I would expand onto this mod. Because I can make this and then put stuff on here and make my own trailers. I don't know if you could make a drop frame, but that'd be cool. So next we have the build it walls. Uh, we're definitely gonna make a Trump wall. So if you guys are not a big Trump supporter, I totally understand, but it's a funny content to make. So it's not bashing Trump in any way. It's not, I'm not supporting Trump on the wall. We're just going to do it in farm sim because we're going to have some fun. So that's what we're here for. We're going to go get that gooseneck trailer. We're probably going to load up some walls in a video. And we're going to probably make a wall around something. If that's not your forte, please don't click on the video. Please don't put hate on it. We're just going to have fun. We're here to have fun on this channel. So that's why you don't hear me talk about so much hate. I go through a lot of shit on Facebook. But I don't post it all to Facebook. Trust me. You can look at my history through Expandables Modding and just literally type my name up in some groups and you'll find me that I've had to constantly battle people through Facebook. But I will publicize some of it, like I did in the Mod Spotlight, because I'm not afraid to call people out. I've got into two wrecks and they were some pretty big men, like some pretty big boys or men, whatever you want to call them, and I could have got my ass whooped. But since I look like I'm 15 years old, I kind of slid under the cracks. So, I'm going to take it for granted. I'm, I'm going to take what I can get, but I can handle myself if I ever get into a fight. So, I'm pretty sure everybody can handle themselves. So, so you got to be careful out there. Be safe. You know, there's a lot of angry drivers. I've encountered at least a couple of them. Two big encounters but one, you know, just a couple on the road, but never saw them again. So you can stack them up. Um, we'll figure out the launcher later. Uh, let's put some boards in a truck. We'll keep the tailgate up. Like if you went to Menards or Home Depot. Might be actually a little long for a truck. Maybe we can scale some down. Actually, I need to find a short one. But it really doesn't fit in the truck bed, but I'll talk to Lambo. Maybe we'll make some usable wood that you can put in the back of your truck. For pictures or building stuff so I'm definitely thinking he's going to expand on this video he's actually been looking forward to this video so I Lambo hope you're having fun in New York stay safe out there bud so I hope he expands on this this is just V1 as everybody would say you could haul these on a trailer look at these big boards so hope you guys enjoyed the build it series uh, go look on the previous mod spotlight for those links they'll be down in those descriptions so please pay attention to the thumbnails. I make sure the thumbnails um, show off what the video is. I don't do clickbait. Some people think I do, but you're wrong. On those two build it uh, bridge series, which you guys should definitely go check out when I did the wood chip videos, those pictures, those thumbnails are taken right at the end of the videos. All my thumbnails are taken at the beginning of a video or the end of a video. They're not pictures from Google. They're not pictures from the internet. They are genuine pictures from my game. They are legit. They are my own content. If you're going to be a YouTuber, please make your own content. Don't do clickbait because once you get in the clickbait, people find out 
it gets ugly. Very, very ugly. So thank you guys so much for watching this. We'll be doing more with this mod, so don't worry. I'll be showing off more this month. Um, actually, this is for November, so make sure you uh, go subscribe on his Patreon. So go support him. This is what he wants to do for a living. Uh, don't bash people that wants to do stuff for a living. A lot of these people on Patreon, this is what they want to do for a living. And I say go for it. The world is changing into where we can make money as a media content. We can make money on the internet. If you watch Jesse Ridgway make Jugger Nuggets, he goes over that. This is what the world is changing to. You can make money on YouTube. You can make money on Storyfire Story now. You can make money um, harvest, or what was that? Um, crypto mining. You can do crypto mining. You can sell stuff on Etsy. You can make 3D prints and sell them on Etsy. You can make any gadgets on there. So the digital age, making stuff on the internet, making money on the internet is now. So believe it or not, Patreon is a way to make money. They do have a lot of fees, but if you get enough supporters, I'm pretty sure custom modding is making a pretty decent living. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. You need at least, well, it depends what your price is, but I say at $10 a month, you probably need at least 400 Patreons to make a living. So, four to 500 at $10. If you're at $20, it could probably be 300 people minimum. You can probably make a decent wage. Uh, their fees are expensive, so if you're ever thinking about Patreon, you're gonna have to go. So you're gonna have to go hard. You're gonna have to make unique mods, obviously, like the Strap It mod, the boards from Lambo Mods, the chess set, the Star Wars chess set. You're gonna have to make unique stuff to get people to come to your Patreon. Do not do the boring stuff. Do not do edits on your Patreon. Do unique and creative stuff. If it's a brand new truck like a 2020 ford and it's not out yet which technically it is but if it isn't then do it before someone else does it so if i was you do unique creative stuff get into solidworks get in the blender get in the 3dx max all those 3d software programs doesn't matter which one you like get in there and make some cool stuff for this game because this game is awesome let's keep growing it when we get to 2021 fs Let's make it big. Hopefully they add seasons right away. Hopefully you console players do not have to wait. So, I feel bad for console players, but on the other hand, they bash PC players left and right. So how can we feel bad for them? If you want someone to feel bad for you, make them feel bad for you. Don't bash the other people. Don't do that. If you want someone to feel bad about you, you have to be nice about the situation. You cannot be mean about the situation. People take it the wrong way all the time. They think, oh, I'm in a really bad situation, but I'm really angry to these, to the other people that get all these mods. Yeah, so the PC players in this instant are not going to be nice to you. So, be respectful. If you want someone to feel bad about you in any situation, any situation, you cannot be mean to that person or that group of people. So... I would tell you some stories, but we'll save it for another date when maybe the channel gets a little more explosive because I just got out of a really bad breakup. And if you guys want to hear that story, let's get 10,000 likes if you want to hear that story. It is very, very juicy. Uh, if you want to hear a girl that doesn't know how to control her body, 10,000 likes, and I'll tell you the story. It's a pretty decent story. It sucks to be me in that situation, but I'm just glad I got away clean. So, we'll see you guys later.